hello I said I would try and do this every day so I am but I'm extremely tired I had the best sleep of my life last night um seriously the best sleep I've ever had in my entire life but it wasn't long enough um and I woke up with no pain whatsoever but I want to have a really really long sleep see these wrinkles here I'll get rid of them and I can't have Botox so I think that's sleep deprivation for 47 years and pain. So let's see if they go away. Keep watching this space. I look like Gordon Ramsay. It's scary. Okay, he's a very good looking man, but he wants to look like a man. Anyway, um, yeah, so cannabis oil works really good. And yeah, pain free pretty much all day. I haven't been had much nausea. Eight. Um, had visitors, had a good day, pretty happy, keep going, another day, another day, another day, um, I feel like I'm healing slowly but surely, just taking it easy, but I am really tired, I feel like I can finally relax, that's how I feel, I feel like finally I, I can relax, I don't have to fight anymore, I don't have to prove anything, I just have to let it happen, and just listen to my body, and know that it knows what it's doing. I'll explain more about that tomorrow um, and how that works. But I can't tonight. I'm too tired. So um, I hope your life is amazing. I hope you are happy. I want to say something really weird. This I haven't said this before. Even to my clients really. But I believe, and I don't really say a lot about what I believe about my etheric beliefs because they're not proven. So um, I don't like to say things that are just what you think. But I feel, I shouldn't say I believe, I feel like this world had a big sad program on it. And that's what's lifting and now we're going to learn how to be happy and I think what makes us happy is love we all want that but happiness is where we're headed it's not peace, it's joy and happiness that's where we're headed and I think that's cooler it's, um, it's a good place, that's what we want I think that's what the greater good is after and I think if you're sad, you should see if you can be happy. And I've been talking to my grandson lately, trying to teach him this. And I've realized that he's always thinking about what he wants, what he can get, what he's going to get, when he's going to get it, how he's going to get it, what he hasn't got, what someone else has got. And that's pretty much what he's always thinking about. And so I'm trying to tell him, Stop thinking about what you haven't got and think about what you have got. And even if you live in a caravan, and I know some people that live this way, I live in the sticks, in the hippie, hippie land. If you live in a caravan or a shack in the middle of nowhere with no power no and limited facilities, you've got that and nature around you. And I don't think, unless you're in a war-torn country, and then you're probably not watching this show, um, you've probably got a lot. If you can watch this, you've got a lot. So maybe I just want to say, be happy with what you've got right now, because it's, it's probably more than you realise. And if you start thinking that way, what have I got now? You might be amazed and feel really, really happy all of a sudden without even realising it. I don't know. It's a trick I've been trying to teach my grandson. So, um, but anyway, I don't know why I brought that up. <sighs> happily ever after. That's where I want to live. Happily ever after. It's my fairy tale. And that's what you live. Happily ever after. Yeah. And everyone's got a different dream. So, I'm not going to tell you what my dream is. Maybe I will, one day. But, um, 
not today because this I'm vlogging more for my health to keep a document of how this works and um, how I get myself better from a place where they said I couldn't do it so yeah I feel like this is really really boring so I'm going now and I will say um, one more thing that um, my greatest wish is to meet a man and that is because he's a genius and I feel like I could have a conversation with him unlike anyone else as well. Hmm. Not because I think he's my Prince Charming. Is he? I don't even know him. Has he got a girlfriend? I don't know. I have no idea about his personal life. I don't do that. I just want to meet Eminem. Okay? I just wanted to make that clear. That when I was saying about the fairy tale, I was not proposing to Eminem or making any such claims to such things. I just want to meet Eminem. And I also like my fairy tale. And I would like you to have your fairy tale. And your fairy tale might not include him. Might have a she or no one or a family or a whole menagerie of animals. I don't know what your lifestyle dream is. But whatever it is, start believing it because I think if you believe it, you can make it come true, especially if it's in line with divine love, because um, if it's right and it's good, why shouldn't you have it? And I believe life will give it to you if you allow it to and you're patient and you live in accordance with your truth. And I believe that your destiny your true destiny is your true heart's desire. So if you really find yourself and know yourself, you'll know what your fairy tale is and then maybe we can start believing in it too and we can make magic happen on this planet. And that, that's a really big, big one for me. I want to make, make magic happen. I'm a witch. Okay. Sorry, I'm so boring today. I'm tired. It's terrible, isn't it? I have, I'm uncouth. I should read you a poem. I might. I've got a poem that I wrote, but it's long. I'm not going to read it tonight because I don't have it in me, but maybe I will tomorrow. Okay. It's called I Am Everything. You'll find it on the internet if you look hard enough. But, um, yeah, I might. I might put it up there. Anyway, please subscribe to my channel because then I can name my channel with my name when I get 100 subscribers. So just click the little box, which is me, in the corner down there and press subscribe. Please, please, if you want to. If you don't want to, then don't. I just want to stay and talk to you for hours and hours, but really, I should go because I've got nothing to say. I'm too tired. Don't you ever just feel like that? Like you just want to hang out with people and just be there? There's no one here. It's just a phone. Me and the camera. Hi, camera. Hi. Hi, YouTube. It's kind of cool because you feel like you're talking to someone, but you're not. But then you are. But then you're not. But then you are. Hmm. It's a weird world we live in now where you can do this. I can just put my my biggest thoughts and greatest desires and dreams and whatever out there for anyone to see or hear. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But just slowly because they're big and you'll probably laugh and make fun of me. I was expecting that, you know. I've been expecting... Why don't you just die, you stupid, arrogant bitch? But I haven't had any. I'm being so rude. Some of the people were nice. Most people are nice. 
Hmm. Those ones that are nasty, they're just like 14 year old kids that are squirting or something. Bye.